How's it going guys, my name is Plixton and today we are continuing with looking at the airport, this is part 2. I have moved since we uh, did the last episode, so if I'm not in the exact same position, that's why. But we're going to continue to look at this floor today and give you a little bit of inspiration. So, I left you off here last time and we were looking at this departure lounge and that runs all the way down here. Um, and this little feature here could be using some of your... Um, builds, maybe airports, uh, bigger buildings, some skyscrapers maybe, uh, shopping malls, stuff like that. And they're just like a little travelator and you just put like a photo frame on it and on the other side just like a uh, no entry and it kind of gives the impression that it goes this way and you slowly crawl across. Um, so I'm going to probably do about 10 more minutes here and I hope to cover the atrium here and this floor and maybe a few shops and in the next episode we'll probably head to the exit and start looking at the outside uh, but this is the departure lounge and there are four gates one gate's got a bigger section even though it's got the same size plane which would be the Boeing 737 which is there um, it's bigger just because of the space we have but this is what I did, um, and you can see the constant use of photo frames, and you've got like a little desk, uh, so you come here, you'd hand in your passport and stuff, and then when the gate opens, you go through and onto the plane, um, after doing some security checks and stuff. Obviously we got we did the security there last episode, but um, I'll take you into the atrium now, and I made this little hangover bit here because some people might just want to stand and look, but... Um, this is the atrium, it pretty much runs all the way through the second part of the airport which is the massive leg that you can see on the map where my little arrow is. Um, and there's a big screen here which advertises the HTC One. I don't know whether that's still a popular phone or not. I'm an iPhone guy so uh, that's what I kind of stick with. But I kind of made it nice and open so that people feel comfortable if they were to come here. Um, and it's got a lot of lighting and all the way down here there's some seating so because I didn't have any room um, for anything uh, I couldn't really fit in any shops or anything so I just put seating all the way down here uh, it gets a bit dim into this part but I guess that's fine if you want to come all the way down here in the airport you kind of gonna be wanting to just be away from everyone uh, and this would be for like people that want to read and stuff like that but don't want to go into Starbucks which is here um, and this is another major feature of this part of the airport uh, so if you're looking for coffee shop uh, inspiration I said in the last episode when we looked at the two kiosks which is the word I forgot uh, that there was a big Starbucks and this is the big Starbucks the only thing that annoys me is that the sign isn't equal on both sides I don't think it is, I might have fixed that, I'm not sure but this is a massive Starbucks as you can see, uh, people would be coming here to collect the coffee and just run onto the plane and stuff, uh, a few seating, all cramped and everything, it was really difficult to do the lighting in this part I remember, but one of my favourite features is probably the ceiling, um, I spent a while just trying to get a nice pattern on it and everything like that, uh, and then lighting on the walls and stuff and the back wall lighting, um, but uh, this is where I really started to run out of photo frames and stuff, so they're probably some of the last lots to go in. Um, but if you are looking for like a kind of inspiration feature on something like this, this is, uh, I'd say it's a good example. Uh, you might think different, but I'd say it's good. See, these are supposed to be fridges here. Um, these would be the tills. Uh, you'd, they'd make everything behind them and stuff, and it's all one person doing, working at a station behind them, like here, this one works here, this one works here, and that's why there's so many coffee things and everything, because it has to be large scale because it's an airport, and this is the main airport for the world, obviously, the only airport, and the next city that I make, this would probably be the one airport that they go to, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do another airport, because they are massive and they take a long time, but I might. Uh, might do a let's build an airport in the future when I get around to it. I have to work around my um, times and everything. 
So we've looked at the atrium and the floors and stuff. Hopefully this has been some good inspiration here. And now we're going to go to the top floor. Um, there aren't any lifts in this airport and that bugs me a bit, but I couldn't really fit them in. They just didn't seem anywhere to put them. So I'll just go through some shops now. Uh, we'll start here. If we hit the 10 minute mark, we'll pause and we'll continue the next part. But um, there's some made up shops, apart from the McDonald's, obviously, and the Starbucks and everything like that. But this is called High Life. Uh, and this this was supposed to be a kind of uh, close rack, but I'm not sure it went to plan. It looks it looks alright, uh, but <laughs> I kind of stopped using it after this because it looks like a punching bag. Um, so this is like a really small clothes shop. And these are supposed to represent um, folded t-shirts and everything. And then you've got your till here that... Uh, you might have noticed I don't do like an opening bit where you can just walk in. So like there'd be a kind of flap or what they call them, a trapdoor. And that's because the trapdoors on this, um, the city texture pack are... They are little fans aren't they? So it doesn't really work. Um, I could have used a gate, I guess, but I just prefer to have them all enclosed. Kind of keeps the design nice and modern and everything. But um, this is High Life. It's a really simple shop. Uh, so if you want some simple shop design, uh, the little entrance there is nice and simple. The McDonald's are basically the same, but they are different shapes on the inside and stuff. Um, so I got this modern design going for the future. Uh, so we've got glass supports on the bottom of the tables and all the tables are booths apart from this one standing bit. I was going to put a, a standing bit at the back uh, next to the tables and stuff but it just seemed nicer to have it like this. This could be like a muck cafe one and there's a bigger one that way and we'll get something second and that one could have been the main one but there's still like the same features in this one. But um, it's basically the same as what we had in the Starbucks and stuff, where we've got the tills, uh, some maybe collection pots, uh, some examples of drinks or something on the side, but the collection pots actually seems like a better idea to think about it. Obviously you've got to keep it in your imagination what everything here is. Um, so it's a nice example of what you can do for a cafe or something. Uh, especially for McDonald's and these pieces of glass um, like they were on Moonshine Tower they represent the doors and stuff and the more expensive doors like what's this called Teflat or T-flat I'm not sure how to pronounce it anymore it was a really good name when I actually made it I remember doing it um, this is an expensive jewelry store uh, so we've got the main glass here and then a shutter behind it in case anyone tries to rob Except I'm not sure anyone really could rob, seeing as it's an airport, and if you can get a gun, say because this is the future in my world, if you can get a gun through that security, I'd be amazed, but obviously they need that just in case. So I use the beacons as a representation of the kind of the neck stands where the, the necklaces would go over them. I thought that was like a kind of good idea and then you can put glass next to it as a kind of empty case or something or you can pretend and imagine that there's something actually inside it because obviously you can't do anything with it but at the back you've got your main features with some lighting and stuff and this would be the upmarket jewelry store and that's why it's so like it's actually in the airport to be honest um, now this next one, this is another clothes store and this is a bit bigger, I called this one Faro Lance. Uh, the symbol itself, it, it doesn't fit the name but it just looked like a really cool design when I did it so hopefully you guys like this and this will probably be the last store I do for this part uh, because we are about to hit our 10 minute mark and I want to keep these episodes short so that I can like do them in the most amount of detail and keep you guys interested at the same time. Uh, obviously some of you will want to just like skip through and get the design ideas, that's fine, uh, that's what I'm here for. Uh, but this is another clothes store, at the back we've got 
kind of a nice feature and these would be like the jewelry here um, and they'd be in a drawer or something uh, and the flowers are just for a nice decorative feature to make the store look more upmarket um, but as normal we've got uh, the tills and stuff at the back with um, the white carpet uh, the reason I didn't do it on the moonshine is because you've got this kind of indent on each piece uh, but that's perfect because in the store it fits um, with the floor and everything else but it's the same kind of design style with the clothing racks and everything where we've got them on a table uh, it represents folded like jumpers and sweaters and stuff t-shirts and everything uh, so people would come in they'd get what they want get to till leave and I thought it was a nice design idea uh, but that's Faro Lance, really simple. Every shop I've done is quite simple, but to me it's kind of effective. I don't know whether you get the same impression. But we have a few more shops to do, and we'll probably get to that in the next episode. But I have been a bit delayed on making some videos, and that's just purely been because I'm a bit busy. But I'm going to hopefully get another tutorial out for you on Tuesday, and that will be on another modern skyscraper. Uh, maybe a new design, maybe an existing design, but I'll see you guys in part 3 for the airport where we continue to look at shops and maybe the exits and then the episode after that we'll probably head out to the main runway and everything itself uh, and then after that we'll look at the tower and everything like that. Um, but thanks very much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next part. My name has been Plixton, please rate and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!